All right, so here I am taping down my tumbler. So I do use a lot of tape, by the way. So I just want to make sure that I get that paper good and tight on that tumbler. I use the pull, I use the pull and tape method. I pull that paper tight, tape it down, pull it, tape it down. Once I get to the top of the tumbler, if there's any paper that's overlapping, I be sure to cut that off. Um, it makes it easier for me to tape it down inside. Um, you see, I have a little person in here trying to help me out. But after I tape it down with the heat tape, no, I'm not using yogurt. So after I tape it down with the heat tape and I go on with some painter's tape or uh, masking tape, whichever one I have on hand, this just ensures a good seal on that tumbler. Afterwards, I put it in the oven, bake it for three, bake it on 350 for five minutes. So moving on to the journal. So this is how I do my journals. So I, I size it, of course, in which I will, I will leave the measurements down below, but I size the journal first or measure the journal first. And then I, um, I cut out two images, same image, just two different pieces, because I want to have a front and a back. You will know that some will just have a one image just covering the entire journal and then just personal preference. Um, I like for my image to be on both the front and the back versus half of the image on the front, the other half on the back. But all right, here we go. So if you do decide to do it this way, just be sure that you take those two separate pieces um, together in the center of the journal, because if not, then you can create your ghosting. Because um, once that image is on the journal, is there, you cannot bake it off like we can do the journal. So um, don't do it. So you notice that I am using two different types of sublimation paper. That's because I wanted to see the difference side by side. And I really didn't see a difference, to be honest. But this is this um, Tumblr journal set is for myself. So it's all good. So you see me taping it down. There's no need for a lot of tape because that heat press is going to add your pressure to your journal and make sure because the journal is just one flat surface. So you're good to go. So just make sure you tape it down good enough to, there where, to where there's no paper flapping up. All right, here we go. So now we are ready to sublimate that little journal. So I always do um, somewhere between 375 and 380 for 60 seconds. So this cardboard piece, they got my little human again. Hey, best friend. So this cardboard piece, make sure you do insert that into the middle of the journal because that's going to um, add even pressure so that when you sublimate, you won't have any ghosting. You shouldn't have any ghosting on that middle piece there. And as always, be sure to cover your item with parchment paper, butcher paper. Sometimes I even use um, car stock, you all, and it actually it actually works for sublimation as well. So when I'm out of all everything else, hey, I have plenty of car stock. All right, so here we go. Let's sublimate. All right, y'all. So okay, it's ready. It is ready. So. I never peel that paper off immediately. I always peek in there to make sure that my image is covering the entire journal because what I don't want is for that journal to be ghosting because then I can't really do anything with it except for a sub black a black image on top and then apply some vinyl, but that's not what we want, right? All right, so peek in there, make sure your image is good to go. If it's not, then you could just, hey, heat it up again. But if not, everything goes well, then go ahead and peel the image off. Y'all, so I usually wear gloves when I'm dealing with this. But um, when it comes to sublimation, I'd be so happy to just peel it off. Let me see what I got. I'd be so happy, y'all. So, all right. So after we peel it off, we'll be good to um attach that notebook to the cover. Look, I love it. Boss vibe. All right. So now we're going to adhere this this notebook to the cover so let me tell you i've done about a dozen journals before i even realized that there's film on top of the front and back of this notebook that i'm supposed to peel off in order to attach it to the journal cover i did not know that again i've done it about a dozen journals how did i attach it before i just used the heat gun heat gun hot glue it served its purpose but um uh, hey you don't know what you don't know Again, like I said, y'all, sublimation, craft in hell. It's just, it's just um, trial and error. So, bam, there we go. Make sure you peel that film off the front and the back. Then you're good to go. So, thank you all for watching my video. Um, please feel free to like, 
comment, share, and subscribe. Um, I'm hoping you all did learn something, whether it's how to sublimate a Tumblr, how to sublimate a journal. If you need me to go slower, trust me, I will. I will not edit. I will just show you the full process from beginning to end. No edit necessary, but I appreciate you all. Thank you. Here's the finished product. Bye.